brought to you by Gospel of God's Grace Ministries. The grace of God is sufficient for you, church. Amen. The grace of God is sufficient for you, church. Amen. My name is Mofengi Sumeta. I came here to give a testimony about academic breakthrough. <laughs> People of God, I am a PPS diamond. I'm going to give you a bit of the background that I came from. When I started school in 2007, I was, I was doing very well. I would take straight A's from my standard one up to my standard three. Problems started when I was doing standard four. My parents started experiencing marital problems. They would fight and quarrel in front of me and my brother. This all brought demotivation to me. I was demoralized, my academics started dropping, and therefore I sought for solution amongst friends. I thought being with a lot of people would bring me comfort. That is when, in 2012, one of my friends introduced me into dating. People of God, that thing took all my time. I never gave my education time. I never concentrated in class. I started getting B's and C. But because the Lord is good, in 2013, my mother introduced me to the gospel of God's grace ministries. And that is when, when I came here, the prophet's message were about character. I started having the passion to be like my father. I started having the passion to change my character and live in accordance to God's word. In, 20, in 2013, I wrote my PSLE, and by the grace of God, I attained grade A, which consisted <laughs> the, the A that I got consisted of four A's, one C and two B's. <laughs> that is not all. That is not all, people of God. In 2014, for the first time in my life, I started receiving prizes for various subjects and even received an overall prize, an overall best student prize in all the form ones. Grace never ends. Last year I was doing my form two. And always I had this living water with me. I would pray using the living water, read my books using the living water. And also remember that the initiative of PPS started in 2014 and my, one of my sisters was privileged to be a part and parcel of the PPS program. She always delivered to me the message that the prophet said we should divorce all the bad things, all the dating, Facebooking, and all bad habits. That is what I did too. And I followed the instruction that we should wake up at 11 p.m. and, and take a short nap at 2 p.m. That is what I did. And as an instruction given in righteousness never fails, I started receiving prices. In 2014, 2015, when I was doing my Form 2, these are the prizes that I received by the grace of God. I received the prize for the, the, best, the overall best student in all the Form 2s. I received an award in best student in Setswana, an award in best student, for best student in English, best student in science, Best student in social studies. <laughs> best student in moral education. And the best student in agriculture 
and also best student in account. But shall we put our hands louder? Listen to the testimony of this young lady. She was not in PPS. Her sister was the contact point. She's the one who was in PPS. But because an instruction given in righteousness never fails, she did what the man of God instructed her sister to do. And these awards followed after. Show me prize together. And you said all these achievements were before enrolling in the program PPS. Yes, sir. You are welcome to continue. Yes, people of God. This year in 2016, as the prophet said, this is my year. Indeed, it is my year because here I am again to testify about the goodness of God in my academics. God has maintained my breakthrough in Form 3 and... On the board here are the, the prices that I received. This price here is for best student in Setswana, the best student in religious education, best student in agriculture, best student in English, the best student in social studies, best student in science, and the overall best student. So we put our hands louder. Are you listening to the testimony of this young lady? She is not saying best student in class. She's saying best student in school. So we put our hands. There is something interesting you stated. You said God maintained the blessing in your life. Shed more light. People of God, the man of God says, we need God to maintain our blessing. Our character shall be the maintainer of our blessings. I have been maintaining that good character through Jesus Christ. I could not do it alone because I have never received a prize in my life through my conduct. But by the grace of God, when I changed and listened to the messages of the men of God, here I am, best student in all the Form 3s, in all the Form 2s, and then in all the Form 1s. <laughs> that is all, people of God. We see you holding in your hand the living assets. How do you relate them to this precious testimony? People of God, on this living water it is written, death is the last thing to be defeated through this living water. My academics were dead, but this living water brought life to, to my academics. Every time when I read at 11 p.m., I would use this living water. Every time I wrote my examination, the living water was always with me. And these are the proceeds of the living water. There is somebody who's listening to your testimony as you are attesting to his goodness. They haven't yet enrolled in PPS like you yesterday. You should be in a position to encourage those who enrolled, those who are just about to enroll, and those who are dreaming enrolling. What do you say to us? My father and the Lord Prophet Cedric says, hmm? this world is an enemy to our education. Therefore, people of God, if we fall into this world, we have everything to lose. We have God to lose. We have heaven to lose. But I encourage you people of God that maintain your position in God. Hold on to God and he shall see you through. The God who did it for me shall still do it for you. So we put our hands together for Jesus Christ.
We thank God for your glorious testimony and of course your wonderful, wonderful word of advice and we only pray that God Almighty may give you the grace to continue anchored to him because throughout your testimony we have learned that you are swimming in the pool of his word. So we pray that God Almighty may give you the grace to maintain his blessing in your life in Jesus name. Thank you Jesus. Brought to you by Gospel of God's Grace Ministries. We are live from the Gospel of God's Grace Ministries in Kopong, Botswana.